Welcome back to the channel, Tech Control here. Today's video is going to be a setup and install of MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner. Um, MSI Afterburner is used to overclock your GPU. I'm not going to focus on that on this video. What I will be focusing on is your stat server, so the Riva Tuner and how to see the stats in game. You can monitor your um, frames, you can see your CPU, GPU, temps and your uh, clock frequencies and all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So first step, head over to Google and you're just going to type in Riva Tuner. Uh, Guru 3D is the website that you're going to get both these software from. So whenever you click on that, you are going to uh, see this page here. So for Riva Tuner, just uh, scroll all the way to the bottom. And what I always recommend, as they do as well, is to always get the recommended or stable version of the software. When you, you can get beta, but then you do run into the issues of bugs and certain crashes in game or even for the software and application itself. So you always want to stick with the recommended. So you're going to go ahead and download this one, the 7.3.1 final recommended. This is the latest one at the time of me making this video. Same for the MSI Afterburner, same website, you can Google it. And the one that's current right now is 4.6.4. And if I scroll to the bottom, the final is 6.3. So again, you can get the beta. I would recommend getting the stable version. So once you have both of these downloaded, you can go ahead and install them. The setup process, just like any other software, is very simple, very straightforward. You're just gonna hit OK. Um, accept the uh, agreements, leave everything to default, and you're going to install both software. And you'll notice that uh, it's going to ask you to set up the Riva Stats server right after you um, set up MSI Afterburner if you have both files there. So I'm going to do exactly that. So same thing as the MSI Afterburner, you leave everything to default, and you're just going to let it uh, set everything up. And when you first launch MSI Afterburner, you'll see this user interface. Um, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm going to set up the Riva Tuner stats. I'm going to show you that. So we're not going to mess around with any of the clock frequencies or manually overclocking the GPU. Not in this video anyway. So we're going to hit the gear icon over here and I'm going to select that. Uh, right off the bat, what I want to show you is the user interface I'm using because the gear icon may be placed differently depending on which, which skin you have. I'm using the Gaming Z Afterburner. And there is a, uh, I forget which one is the default, but whichever the default one is, actually let me try to see if I can find it in this list here. The default one will look so much of that. So I believe the uh, the gear icon will be um, placed exactly where, where it is on this one. So I'm gonna go back to this design, this uh, user interface here. And at the top, you'll see a bunch of tabs. So if you click on the tab that says monitoring, so this tab here, this is going to show you everything that you are currently monitoring um, in your on-screen display. Now the settings I have enabled are GPU temperature, GPU usage, um, memory usage, core clock, memory core clock, and then moving down, um, CPU usage, RAM usage, and my frame rate is set to on-screen display, which is text and graph. I find it looks pretty cool and informative that way. And then moving down. Um, I also have CPU one temp and then that's about it. So if you ever wanted to add anything additional on your on-screen display, you would hit, for example, uh, the front bus usage and you would just hit this radio button down here and you would say show in on-screen display. So then it's going to, it's going to either be a text or a graph or both if you want to the right hand drop down here, you want to disable that. Okay, and then you can also set um, certain values. So the names for your for the uh, GPU and the CPU. So you can set it to um, whatever GPU, of course, or CPU that it is that you're that you're running. Um, and, and if you want to override the graph name, you would just hit override graph name, and, and you can change this text to whatever you want if you don't like the default. Uh, the only things that I changed, however, were the uh, GPU name and the CPU name. So in GPU temp, you can see here, I, I hit override group name and I put the RTX 3070 Ultra. Um, I did the same with the uh, CPU. Uh, moving along, let's check out the on-screen display. This is uh, 
where everything is controlled um, and what you would see. Um, the toggle, you can set these buttons to whatever you want. I use Alt plus S. So whenever you uh, hit the toggle button, it's gonna display the on-screen display in game. And at the bottom of this window, if you hit the more tab, you're gonna see this window and this is what you will see in game. Um, I leave everything at default. I like the raster 3D and my on-screen display is uh, a viewport instead of frame buffer and the display shadow I have on, the fill I have off, the fill I find kind of creates um, a background that uh, sometimes interferes with uh, your in-game, um, like seeing the map and whatnot. And this is, and you can control the on-screen display zoom by this slider here. So, I mean, you, you know, you don't want to have that big, it'll take up the whole screen real estate. But I think like this, this is, this is the setting that I use is pretty much, or even one lower than that actually is, uh, is all that you're going to need. So that's how you would set up your um, Riva tuner. And I'm going to uh, turn on a game and just kind of show you what it would look like in game. And in game, this is what uh, the Riva Tuner Stat Server looks like. So you'll notice um, all the details and the GPU, CPU name, uh, the frequencies, the temps, and you'll notice the bar graphs, the frame rates. You'll notice the graph, and you'll see the average frames that I'm getting. You can set up the 1% lows, 1% highs, and all that. I don't really bother with too much info. This is the way that I, this is a, a personal preference, the way I like it. And uh, this should uh, be more than enough for most people. And this brings us to the end of this video. And there you have it. That's how you would set up Riva Tuner Stat Server. I think it's a pretty cool piece of software. Um, and as always, uh, don't forget to hit that like button and share your comments and thoughts in the comment section below. And if you found this useful or helpful, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, stay safe, take care of each other, take care of yourself, be well, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.